Look, Snooky. Can I call you Snooky? No, it's Nicole now. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the famous faces whose appearances on Supernatural may have slipped your minds like anything off of Dean's Impala. We're excluding anyone with a major recurring role like Lauren Cohan in Season 3, since those are generally pretty memorable. Though a couple appearances or minor cameos is fine. Collecting early. Oh, please. White gloves. <laughs> I don't get my hands dirty. Number 20. Paris Hilton. Yes, really. The infamous reality TV star actress model appears as herself on Supernatural. Sort of. I'm so glad you're awake for this. This is gonna be huge. Several fans of Paris Hilton are shocked to encounter her and become even more so when she kidnaps one of them. As it turns out, she's actually a forest god called Aleshi who takes on the appearance of its victims' idols to ensnare them and feed on their deaths. It also takes the form of Mahatma Gandhi and Abraham Lincoln. Is that Gandhi? Yeah! Dude, he's squirrely. The Leshy is finally killed by being decapitated by Sam. That's not hot. Number 19, Gary Cole. Gary Cole is famously one of the ultimate Hollywood character actors that everyone recognizes, yet whom not everyone can name. Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. And uh, I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo, okay? Yeah. Cole appears as Brad Redding, a producer on the set of a horror movie in season two. The veteran actor plays a perfectly smug, ignorant Hollywood executive, making ignorant suggestions to those in charge and even mistaking Dean for a production assistant. You get me a uh, smoothie from Crafty? You want a what from who? You are a PA? This is what you do? However, while the initial thing that brings Sam and Dean to the set turns out to have been a hoax, Redding is killed by a ghost for real on set. Guess Redding ended up making the film more colorful after all. Number 18, Trisha Helfer. An actress who's no stranger to genre parts, Trisha Helfer is best known for appearing in Battlestar Galactica. Her role in Supernatural is a bit more down to earth, though still uncanny. Helfer plays Molly McNamara, a woman who gets into a car wreck with her husband, only to awaken to find him missing. Molly, Molly McNamara. Molly, look, I think maybe you should come with us. We'll take you back into town. I can't. I have to find David. He might have gone back to the car. She's terrorized by a man named Jonah Greeley, and after turning to Sam and Dean for help, she discovers that he's a ghost. After laying Greeley to rest, though, Molly discovers that she's dead, too. What are you saying? I'm saying that there isn't just one spirit haunting Highway 41. There are two. Jonah Greeley and you. Helfer perfectly portrays her heartbreak at realizing her husband has moved on and her own decision to do the same. Number 17, Amber Benson. Amber Benson plays Lenore, a vampire who resists her kind's urges to feed on humans. Benson is best known for playing Tara on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so this part is definitely in her wheelhouse. In her first appearance, Lenore is revealed as a vamp who feeds on cow blood instead of humans. Once you have the scent, you'll keep tracking us. It doesn't matter where we go. Hunters will find us. So you're asking us not to follow you? We have a right to live. We're not hurting anyone. However, she is tempted and tortured by a sadistic hunter, Gordon Walker. The boys free her after she successfully proves she still has some humanity left. Tragically, her second appearance is also her last, as Lenore's vampire instincts return, along with the progenitor of monsters, Eve, and she requests to be put down. I'll do it again. I can't stop. Not anymore. You have to. Please. Lenore. Number 16, Charisma Carpenter. Speaking of Buffy alums, Charisma Carpenter also shows up on Supernatural, alongside another cast member, James Marsters. The duo play a married couple, Maggie and Don, who are going through a rough patch after Don apparently has an affair. Oh, boo-hoo. Mr. Big Shot. Mr. I gotta put my name on every public works in town. Yeah. There was three of us in this marriage. Me, you, and your ego. That was the problem, Don. The only trouble is that both of them are powerful witches, and the people of their town suffer for it when Maggie starts taking out her rage on the townspeople. After Sam and Dean intervene, and maybe try to kill Maggie, the pair of probably immortal magic users eventually patch things up. 
I've been crushing on you since forever. You're a woman I want to never grow old with. I could never murder you either, Don. Honestly, with Carpenter's and Marsters' record in the Buffyverse, this is downright healthy by comparison. Number 15, Sierra McCormick. Don't you want to be here? Don't you love me? Oh, sure I do. We all do, honey. We all love you so much. Don't be mean to me, Daddy. Before her breakout role on the Disney Channel sitcom Ant Farm, Sierra McCormick first debuted on TV screens in a fictional role via Supernatural. McCormick plays Zoe Fremont, a young girl who is possessed by the demon Lilith, as well as Lilith herself. Lilith terrorizes Zoe's family, all in a bid to manipulate Sam into killing her. As Lilith, McCormick is surprisingly terrifying. She's so scary that it's no wonder Dean is haunted by hallucinations of her in an episode the following season. What's the matter, Dean? Don't you remember all the fun you had down there? You do remember. Four months is like 40 years in hell. The fact that it was her acting debut only makes the terror she inspires that much more impressive. Number 14, Julie Benz. Oh, you thought there were no more Buffyverse stars on Supernatural? Think again! Julie Benz got her big break on Buffy and Angel, but also had a notable role on Dexter. In this season one appearance, Benz plays Layla, a woman with terminal cancer. She meets Sam and Dean while visiting a faith healer. Layla, what's wrong? I have this thing. It's a brain tumor. It's inoperable. Despite Dean's cynicism and her unwavering faith, the two of them form a bond. Unfortunately, the faith healer Layla hopes can save her is unwittingly trading one life for another with the help from a reaper controlled by the man's wife. Sam and Dean put a stop to the reaper, leaving Layla still dying. Benz's performance in her final scene with Dean still gets to us. Guess if you're gonna have faith, you can't just have it when the miracles happen. You have to have it when they don't. Number 13, Caleb Worthy. Famous for his role as quirky dope Dez on Austin and Alley, Caleb Worthy had a considerably less charming role on Supernatural. Worthy played a young man named Denny, who, like several other residents of a town, see their wishes come true. Denny's wish is that he becomes invisible so he can spy on women. We're pretty sure that kind of behavior would be a no-go on the show that made him famous, considering it aired on the family-friendly Disney Channel. Put on some pants and stay visible. Oh. Number 12, Marie Avgeropoulos. More known these days for having been on another CW show, The 100, as Octavia Blake, Marie Avgeropoulos had a small part in the fourth season of Supernatural. Hi, Taylor. How was your weekend? Fine, I guess. You didn't go to the rodeo? <laughs> That's my spot. <laughs> her character is Taylor, a popular girl who finds herself ridiculed after rumors of her alleged romantic exploits make the rounds at school. After a less than it girl tries to comfort her, Taylor rebuffs and insults her, prompting the second girl to brutally murder Avgeropoulos' character after being possessed and leading to the Winchesters investigating the killing. Thankfully, the actress gains better survival skills in her later show. What are you doing? Get away from him. Number 11, Dylan Minnette. The star of 13 Reasons Why, Dylan Minnette, played a role in Supernatural that also sees him reaching out to a troubled girl. Minnette plays Danny Carter, a young boy whose new home appears to be haunted. Hello? It's okay. I'm Danny. However, Far from the usual sort of vengeful spirit the Winchesters run into, this girl is actually still alive and has been living behind the walls for years, making it a rare episode without supernatural events. Like on the Netflix show, Minette's character is too late to prevent the girl's death, as she's too far gone, or at least too murderous to be saved. Number 10, Adrian Palicki. I'm proud of you, and you're gonna knock him dead on Monday and you're gonna get that full ride. I know it. What would I do without you? Crash and burn. Adrian Palicki plays Jessica, Sam's girlfriend, whose murder at the hands of a demon motivates Sam into returning to the life of a hunter. Now we can practically hear all of the diehard Supernatural fans typing, 
Who could forget about Jessica? To which we can only say, look, Supernatural is... It's a long show, okay? Despite her pivotal part, Palaki only reappears a couple of times throughout the series in cameos, dream sequences, and being impersonated by the devil. There is reason for hope. No, Sam. There isn't. So it's understandable that some of the more casual fans forgot that the actress who went on to greater fame on Friday Night Lights, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and The Orville also appeared in this crucial supernatural role. Number 9. Alden Ehrenreich What? Young Han Solo himself was in Supernatural? Yep, a long, long time ago, in a season far, far away. The first one, in fact. Alden Ehrenreich appeared in the second episode of the series. The solo actor appeared as Ben Collins, whose older brother goes missing in the woods after being targeted by a Wendigo. They went this way. Together with the Winchesters, Ben searches for and eventually rescues his brother, making for a reunion that was probably more satisfying than Solo's performance at the box office. Number 8. Candace Akala Before she gained recognition on another supernatural CW show, The Vampire Diaries, Candace Akala, also known as Candace King, appeared on Supernatural in a flashback. She plays Amanda, a girl who briefly dates Dean at one of the many high schools the Winchesters attend. In the midnight screening of I Spit on Your Grave at the Cynodome. Uh, I can't. I have a curfew at 11. After catching Dean cheating on her, she gives him a piece of her mind while also ruining his chances for popularity among the student body. You spend so much time trying to convince people that you're cool, but it's just an act. We both know that you're just a sad, lonely little kid. Candace's popularity as an actress has only risen since she appeared on the show, though. Number 7. Corey Monteith Dude, you're cheating. No, nope, you just suck. This late actor, best known for his role on Glee as Finn, is another star who appeared way back in Supernatural's second episode. Monteith portrayed Gary, a young man who also went on the ill-fated camping trip that was attacked by a Wendigo. Gary is one of those who does not make it out alive, though, as he's brutally killed off screen by the creature after being hung up in its lair. Despite the small part, we're positively gleeful to get to see any more of the departed actor's work. Number 6. Ashley Benson Most known for playing the surprisingly nice Queen Bee Hannah on Pretty Little Liars, Ashley Benson played a far less kind part on Supernatural. Benson guest starred as Tracy, an immortal witch trying to resurrect a demon by murdering, sacrificing people in bizarre ways while masquerading as a high school student, even being willing to kill her own brother to accomplish her goal. Did you see what he was doing? Did you hear him? How sloppy his incantation was? My brother always was a little dim. The gun is Benson's witchy character gets her comeuppance when the demon promptly kills her after its summoning, and the part likely prepared her well for portraying a pretty little liar. Number 5. Robert England Dean Winchester? You must be Dr. Robert. <laughs> Robert England is among the most famous icons in horror, but you still might not recognize him, at least without the makeup. England is best known as Freddy Krueger, the sadistic villain of a Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. In Supernatural, England plays a far more benevolent role, even if his character does kill Dean. Don't worry, he asks for it. England's character Dr. Robert helps Dean die for several minutes so that he can speak to death. Are we ready? Hmm? You've got three minutes. We can't help but wonder what Freddy would have to say about this. Probably something quippy about leaving the job half done. Number 4. Finn Wolfhard One of the young stars of Stranger Things, Finn Wolfhard, encountered some pretty bizarre and upsetting occurrences on Supernatural prior to the 80s sci-fi show's premiere. Wolfhard plays Jordy, a boy whose parents are both murdered by his babysitter, who has had her soul removed. You alright? Give me a sec. Ah! 
Wolfhard only has a few scenes, but he does a great job playing a range of emotions, from relief to fear to complete shock at the loss of his parents, demonstrating the young actor's talents, which we'd go on to see even more of later on. You're gonna survive this. People are gonna help you. There's Aunt Kathy. She comes at Christmas. Number three. Nicole Snooky Polizzi. Best known from her time on the reality series Jersey Shore, Nicole Polizzi, often known by her nickname Snooky, makes a brief yet hilarious cameo on Supernatural. When Sam and Dean need to track down the King of Hell, they summon a crossroads demon. And who should appear but a demon possessing Polizzi? Winchesters. Is, is that, uh... Well, that explains a lot. The Snooky Demon reluctantly helps the Winchesters out and points them in Crowley's direction. However, the boys exorcise the entity from Polizzi's body instead of setting her free. Given how cutthroat show business can be, we're not sure whether removing the demon would have hurt or helped her career. Seriously, an exorcism? We had a deal! See you, Snooks. Number 2. Linda Blair Linda Blair is another horror icon best known for playing the possessed girl Regan from the Exorcist films. Her role here is considerably less creepy though. Blair plays Diana Ballard, a police detective who, along with her partner Peter Sheridan, arrests Sam and Dean for murder. Your father's whereabouts are unknown. And then there's the case of your brother Dean, whose demise was, well, just a little bit exaggerated. Feel free to jump in whenever you like. The boys' claims that the killer may have been a ghost at first seems ridiculous, but then Ballard sees a ghost in a mirror. Eventually, she pieces together that her partner actually committed the crime and is trying to pin the killings on the Winchesters, with the ghost warning them about the real killer's identity. Anyone else craving pea soup? Nice lady. And for a cop? Does she look familiar to you? No, why? I don't know. Anyway, are you hungry? No. Man, for some reason, I could really go for some pea soup. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Leslie Odom Jr. He's Aaron Burr, sir! Before making it big on Broadway, Leslie Odom Jr. also appeared on Supernatural. The Hamilton actor plays Guy, who first appears to be a party planner who also gives Becky a love potion. However, in truth, Guy is a crossroads demon. Okay, you want me to pay? Fine. Do you accept personal checks? No, but I will take your soul. Guy, like the rest of his kind, is fond of making deals with dire consequences. However, this demon finds a loophole that lets him break his deals by having another demon kill his clients. It's called a loophole, you moron. Yes, when a person bargains away his soul, he gets a decade, technically. But accidents happen. But when the Winchesters and worse Guy's boss, Crowley, the King of Hell, finds out what he's doing, well, it's the end of Guy's scheme, and probably Guy too. Odom Jr. is clearly having a ball with the part, and we are with watching him too. Is there a forgotten or obscure supernatural guest we somehow forgot? Carry on about your favorites in the comments. That's why it's important to have a capable intern. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.